now at 5 o'clock for you. Calls for Denver School Board members to resign with concerns still high about gun violence and safety at Denver schools. Parents and some community members, of course, keeping up the pressure on those board members. And tonight we have an update from another major school, major school district in the Front Range. Connor McHugh is going to tell us about a settlement between Douglas County Schools and its former superintendent. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Now we begin with more on the protests outside of the DPS school board meeting tonight. Our Kelly Worthman joins us now live. Hi, Kelly. Good evening, Michael. This, these parents and advocates and even students really have been here for about the last hour. You can see a few of them still gathering outside right now, even though the school board meeting did begin about a half hour ago. All of them are here with a similar message that DPS needs to do more. These parents, students and others here all want to see the entire school board resign. We've been reporting on this for a while now. They say the current seven members have driven the district into the ground and it's been that way for far too long and really it's only getting worse, they say. The recent shootings at East High recently, of course, among their safety concerns all around the district. And many here also believe the current board is putting politics before education. We believe the board has fundamentally failed on creating policies that work for all focused on education and safety. Um, and we also believe that they're not managing their one employee, the superintendent. And we feel like it has gotten worse over the last several years. And to wait until the election time, I think is just too late. So right now, Resign DPS, that group, has created a petition that's already gathered more than 3,000 signatures, again, calling for the resignation of the entire school board. But a district spokesperson said no one has any plans of resigning. All the more reason, Michael, that these families are here and will be speaking at the school board meeting. Again, it began about a half hour ago, and I just learned that they expect to have public comment for about five hours. Wow, going to be a long meeting. Kelly, we also understand that there's a different group protesting there as well. Yes, here in just about a few minutes, we expect about a busload of families to arrive, and they're coming from the southwest side of the Denver Public School District, a side that they say is underrepresented. These families say they want to be heard. Parents don't feel like they are involved in any of the district con uh, conversations about what's going on in this school district. And while they feel that maybe perhaps the entire school board doesn't need to resign, they want current and future members to really hear their voices and understand that their community matters as well. Reporting live in Denver. I'm Kelly Worthman covering Colorado first. A lot to dig into tonight. We'll of course update you on this developing story and bring you the latest on tonight's meeting at 10 o'clock. Kelly, thank you. Also tonight,